The group calling itself Islamic State is the first terrorist group whose members have grown up on the internet and know how to exploit it, the new head of GCHQ says. They know how to spread their message far and wide over social networks and protect their communications. This, Robert Hannigan says, is a problem that technology companies are in denial about. However much they may dislike it, they, the technology companies, have become the command and control networks of choice for terrorists and criminals, he writes in the Financial Times. The task of GCHQ in Cheltenham is to intercept global communications. That, the agency's new director says, has become harder after the disclosures from Edward Snowden, which tipped off GCHQ's targets. It also made some tech companies less willing to cooperate with law enforcement and intelligence and invest more in encrypting or protecting data so it can't be read. But Robert Hannigan says cooperation is needed. It means coming up with better arrangements for facilitating lawful investigation by security and law enforcement agencies than we have now, he writes. Technology and privacy activists say they welcome the idea of GCHQ entering the public debate about privacy, but one said attacking the internet wasn't the right way to do it. This intervention, though, is a sign that in that debate, the new head of GCHQ is not going to shy away from a fight. Gordon Carrera, BBC News.